Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Histories of Airliners. Today we're diving deep into the fascinating history of a very specific aircraft. Elvis Presley's Convair 880, registered as November 880 Echo Papa. This wasn't your average passenger plane. Put on your blue suede shoes, because this aircraft story is going to shake, rattle, and roll. The Convair 880 was developed and built to compete against the Boeing 707 and the Douglas DC-8. Convair, a subsidiary of General Dynamics, developed this jet with five abreast seating and was advertised to be the fastest airliner in the sky. In the end, only 65 were built from 1959 to 1962 as airline companies turned out to want fuel-efficient airliners over faster airliners, as demonstrated when Boeing made design changes to its Boeing 707 to produce the more efficient Boeing 720 to fill the niche more economically than the Convair A80 could. The Convair A80 was a jet airliner that graced the skies in the 1960s. This jet specifically rolled off the production line in 1960 and was delivered to Delta Airlines in October the same year. Back then, jet travel was still a novelty and the Convair 880 with its sleek design and powerful General Electric engines was a symbol of luxury and speed. This aircraft flew for Delta for over 13 years, carrying passengers on various domestic routes. Now here's where things get interesting. In 1975, this aircraft's ownership changed hands. Delta sold the aircraft, and guess who bought it? The one and only Elvis Presley. Elvis bought the aircraft for $250,000 and would spend another $600,000 refurbishing it into his primary personal jet. Yes, the king of rock and roll had a thing for luxury jets, and this aircraft became his primary personal airplane. He named it the Lisa Marie after the name of his daughter. Elvis used Lisa Marie to travel across the country for concerts and tours. Imagine the excitement when the king would step off his iconic aircraft. There was even one instance where, realizing his daughter had never seen snow before, he flew in this aircraft with his daughter to Denver, Colorado, just so that his daughter could have a day playing in the snow. Sadly, Elvis' time with Lisa Marie was short-lived. After his passing in 1977, the plane went through several years in limbo. The jet was ultimately retired for commercial and private service and put into storage in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. But this aircraft story doesn't end there. Here's the good news. This piece of aviation history eventually got the respect it deserves. This former airliner is currently on display at Graceland, Elvis Presley's Memphis, Tennessee mansion, where it and one of Elvis's Lockheed Jetstar business jets serves as a permanent reminder of the King's rock and roll lifestyle. If you want to know what's happening to one of Elvis's other Jetstar aircraft, you should look in on Jimmy's World YouTube channel. Needless to say, what he has done to that aircraft is interesting. So if you're ever in Memphis, be sure to visit Graceland and see our featured aircraft up close. You can stand where the king once stood and imagine him taking off on another rock and roll adventure. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history of Elvis Presley's unique Convair 880. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more aviation tales. In the comments below, let us know what you think of this video. Check out our links at the end for more Convair related videos. And if you wish, you can support us on Patreon or become a member of my YouTube channel by joining the channel's Coach Class membership level. Being either a Patreon or YouTube channel member will allow you the benefits of early viewing of new videos and you will help get to choose the next video. Patreon and YouTube channel membership allows greater support for this channel, which will allow me to make improvements to this channel as I always like to visit museums and use more video instead of pictures to make these videos. Thank you for all your support.